Any thoughts you want to share with the FIs, the kind of things they should keep in mind, strategies, risk mitigation, methodologies, what mm -hmm. do you recommend? Yeah, so <clears throat> the uh, sometimes the advantage, again, we're six plus years into FIs being able to offer real-time payments. So those by definition that haven't done it yet are coming a little late to the party. However, it's not too late. Uh, there's uh, And the, the upside is uh, when you go live now, you can immediately start delivering value to your customer base. Like um, Deepak, we were talking about start with receive. Immediately, yeah. there's enough volume on the network where regardless of the location of the FI or the size, you'll see payments coming in already. So, so time to value is fractional now. You know, uh, we had a bank go, our credit union go live, I think it was two days ago. Literally within minutes, they had payments coming into their customers. So, yeah. so again, start that journey and and then start thinking like a lot of what Tambi was saying, you know, an enterprise-wide strategy. How do you leverage this new infrastructure across the organization? Um, but you can start in a very tactical way and not try to boil the ocean, so to speak, right? So, yeah. Yeah, no, good, good point. That's what I, that's well what I into it, you know, and you know, we're well into it, but on the other hand, we're just, you know, tip of the iceberg as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tanvi, any last thoughts? Uh, two, two things, right? Like, keep back to your point, like, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's going to take time. It's complex. Modernizing a 20, 30 year old infrastructure or ecosystem, it's tough. But I think if you have certain, like your, think about your customers, what experience you want to give, right? And at the same time, I would definitely think like, yes, technology and operational needs are very critical, but please don't forget risk, right? We all, FIs, you all regulated by <laughs> regulators. And the first thing you're going to get is a knock on a door and asking what's your, what's your rationale for modernizing, right? So a lot of times it's very easy to focus on, the, I have the best technology and I have the best people and I'm going to figure out how to create this enterprise, but then we lose track of like, hey, but what does it do to our risk, especially with instant payments coming in play, risk is getting more and more heightened experience, right? Like, what do you need to do? You don't want to be on the Wall Street Journal. So as you're modernizing, mm -hmm. you know, I think three things like go look for a partner that will give you the technology if you don't have it in-house. Go think through your operations and how do you advise? Don't do like for like, right? You used to do it like this before. Doesn't mean you need to do it this way. Let's think yeah. about it differently and always have your risk hat on, especially payment risk is just not operational risk anymore. It, it, it does jump into your financial risk, your fraud risk, a lot of risk associated payments. Yeah. So like those three, if you do, I think you'll be in a good journey. But again, it's not going to be easy, but it's a fun journey.